Welcome to Baby Blue Memories, Brandon Bordeaux and my daughter Brittany with me on the camera. Let's get set for action. It's novice C matchup between Mercier and Gahnawaga. The Mohawks have possession of the puck wearing black with gold and white trim. They're playing from our right to left. Mercier wearing white with blue and yellow trim. This is a novice C matchup between these two teams. Here's Jacob Paul to get the puck behind his own net. And, uh, um, we have a little problem with the scoreboard. I guess they're going to let play continue. No, hold on. <laughs> uh, we have an issue here with the clock. Uh, good way to start this game. If you're just joining us, it's a matchup between Mercier and uh, the Grahnawagi Mohawks. And uh, the whistle has gone. Uh, okay. The clock is uh, malfunctioning here. Well, this is a good way to start off our first novice game of the year. Um, if you're joining us, welcome to the Gahnawagi Sports Complex. We have a little error with uh, the score, the scoreboard, specifically the time. It was going in the wrong direction at first. The time, time was actually increasing instead of decreasing. And now it looks like everything is all set. So here we go with, I guess, our second opening face-off. Well, Hesu Karat shoots the puck the length of the ice. Mercier player went up to get it, and we have an icing called just uh, 11 seconds into this matchup. So we, here we go with a face-off coming up to the right of uh, Corey Goodleaf, the goaltender for the Mohawks today. And meanwhile, Mercier is starting Noah Prefontaine. Face off to the right of Goodley. And it's one on goal, but it's blocked before it got to the net. And the puck goes into the corner. Picked up by the Braves, but knocked off the puck was Louis Radet. Actually, a call up from Mag when I was talking to the Mercy uh, team this, uh, this morning. They mentioned that they had three players who were not able to make the trip. So they had to call up three MAG players. So three MAG age players are getting their first piece of action one week before the Mercier MAG Festival, which will commence next week, of course. It comes back to the point. That's uh, Justin Catanod. Catanod. And now Radet ran into. Good play by Junadate Thompson, number 19. Picked up by Mercier's Radet behind the net. And... Uh, slew of humanity falling behind the goal picked back up by Mercier and now the centering feed is blocked good defense by Thompson number 19 Jonadate Thompson and now Mercier is going to get a chance in front right that comes in Goodleaf what a save Corey Goodleaf making a huge stop right at the tip of the crease Thompson looks to break out Along with Joey Jacobs here. And now the puck is loose in front of the net. And the Mohawks will clear it. Sent around the horn. And picked up by the Braves. Two players there. Thompson picks it up. Jacobs here. Can't get it out. Good keeping at the point. Well, has to correct the old player back. They come in at the tip of the crease. Goodly for another save. And it comes back to the point. Kept in. Here's a shot. Karut knocks it away. Cleared back towards the point. Mercier keeps it in. Here's a shot. Blocked by Karut. Well, actually, Karut, her second block shot on that. Same sequence. And Gahnawagi clears it. And then the Mohawks need a change. Thompson goes to the bench, picked up by Karut, and Karut banks it off the boards. Puck stays alive, and played off to the opposite side. Here comes Mercier, William Bellet, who played with the Braves last year, and we got an offside called with seven minutes and three seconds to go here in period one. 
like to say my daughter Brittany filming her first game in what should be many. And it'll be the first of two today because we have a double header coming up today. The novice A's will be playing St. Martin after this. And we will have that covered for you here on Baby Blue Memories. Face off coming up just outside the blue line. There we go. Face off controlled by Mercier. And it's shot into Gahnawagi territory. Giving chase to the puck is Jacob Paul, number 44. Paul takes a tumble on the boards. And, uh, well, it's a rugby scrum behind that net. Picked up by the Mohawks. They try to headman it. And back comes Gahnawagi. Trying to break out. Good defense by number 20. That's Sebastian Robert Fato. And now the Mohawks bring it back to center ice. Giving chase to the puck is number 45, Kylan Phillips. And circling back behind his own goal is Charles Matty Cut, number 27. Now picked up and shot back in by the Mohawks. Played back to the point. Oh, and a good shot block by number 34, Nathan Chamberlain. And the puck gets out. That goes Mercier. And it's poked away. Good defense by the Mohawks and shot on the opposite, on the right side of center. So no icing here. The Braves have to gather it behind their own goal. Here comes Mercier trying to break out. And a nasty collision right in the right in front of the blue line. Mercy has to come break out. One of the Milwaukee players takes a tumble. And it's shot back out into Milwaukee's end of the ice. And it'll be cleared all the way down. Icing waved off. Kept alive by the Mohawks. And it'll be shot on goal. A rebound. He can't pull the trigger. Shot towards the net. Blocked. Another try. It lands on goal. And that forces Prefontaine to make the save. And we have a pause in the action. Four minutes and 41 seconds to go. No score. Gahnawage taking on Mercier. Brandon Bordeaux along with Brittany by the water. Keeping company here at the Gahnawage Sports Complex. Face off coming up to the left of the uh, Mercier net. Well, that's who, uh, Karat, number 30, takes the draw. It's one back towards the point and shot back in by Thompson. The puck goes behind the net. And now the puck will get out. Kept alive by the Mohawks. But it's shot back into their own zone. Gonawage has to tag up. Here's Jacob Paul. Now it's picked up by Gonawage. I don't have a number seven on my roster sheet. Shot the length of the ice. Not far enough for icing. And now Karat picks it back up. Backhander in front. Knocked down and it's shot the wrong way. Gahnawagi's going to have to pick it up. Karat. And it'll be land, land on that. Goodleaf has to make the save. And he clears it. Thompson. Thompson looks to break out. Thompson skating. Here goes Dunadate Thompson. Break, gets by two. 
slowed down. Correct knocks it back into the uh, Mercier zone. And the defenseman, that's a note, misses the pass. A shot on! Save! Two fifty-eight to go here in the first. And uh, we'll change it up here. If you're just joining us, this, of course, the first game of the year that we have live for you on Baby Blue Memories for Novice C. Face off coming up just outside or just to the right of the Mercier goal. Don Hawagi with an extra skater on, so. That player will have to go to the bench. And now Mercy with an extra player on. They were playing six foot six for a moment. So what happens at Novice C sometimes get a little confused. Face off to the right of Prefontaine. One towards the net. Comes to the point. Backhanded. Blocked and shot to the opposite side. Played around the horn. Puck stays in. And cleared. And now it's a foot race for the puck. Coming back is Paul. Also coming back is Reese Dixon. Good leaf knocked it away and everybody goes flying back behind the goal. And the Mohawks break it up. What a defensive play. Coming back defensively. It was Cooper Rice, 31, sliding to block the wraparound attempt. Stolen back behind the net. Here's number 20, Sebastian Robert Fateau. Passed out in front and nobody there. Thompson gives chase to the loose puck. It's one back to the point. Cleared around the horn. It's thrown out in front. Here's the backhander. Where's the puck? Oh, it's caught behind the net. And the Mohawks have it. And they score. The puck got caught behind the net. And Mercier scores first. It's 1-0. The goal scored by Nathan Chamberon. And that goal comes with a minute 35 to go here in period one. Face off controlled by Mercier. And it's cleared back towards the blue line area. Kept alive by Thompson. Here goes Thompson, cutting to the goal. Thompson. Thompson. Can't get the shot away. It comes back to the point. Kept alive by the Mohawks. Good move by Reese Dixon. Dixon goes towards the blue line. Got knocked. The puck knocked off his stick. Dixon tries to clear it. Dixon again, and the puck gets out. Mercier shoots it back in, delayed offside. Thompson can't clear it, and the puck is touched. But the offside is called, and we'll have a pause in the action with uh, 44 seconds. Oh, this is a good game so far. The Mohawks have had a couple of good chances. Mercier with a couple of good chances. Corey Goodleaf has been solid. In net for Gahnawage. But still 1 0. Advantage Mercier. Here we go. All right. Knock the puck back out of the zone. Mercier's going to come back in. Offside. Yeah. So that stops the action with 34.8 seconds remaining, and they're still continuing. <laughs> By the way, the whistle's blown, folks. There you go. 
Face off coming up outside the Gahnawagi blue line. Face off one by Mercier. Banged off the boards. And now Gahnawage keeps the play out of the zone. Good job by Joey Jacobs Deer. Offside is finally called. There's eight seconds left in the period. Head coach Kyle Zachary and the squad have a close game on their hands. It's 1-0 with 8.3 seconds left. Here we go. Face off coming up. And Donawage has six players on the ice. Jacobs Deer goes to the goes to the bench. Here we go. Face off corralled by the Mohawks. And Gahnawagi's got it. And that is going to do it for the first period of play. Well, we have ourselves a battle on our hands. The Mercy Braves lead the Gahnawagi Mohawks 1-0 in obviously action. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Here we go, second period of play underway. Gahmawage and Mercy, it's 1 0. And uh, the Braves have possession of the puck. And it's shot back to the opposite side. Banged off the boards. And the puck is shot out. Picked up by the Mohawks. Now cleared out by Gahnawage. They look to clear it anyway. Shot is blocked. Picked up. And Gahnawage can't clear it. Mercier player takes a tumble, a shot towards the net. And Gahnawage will look to break out. Reese Dixon. His centering feet is blocked. Shot towards the Mohawks goal. The Braves pick it up, and Gahnawagi comes back. They intercept that pass. Here they come. It's Tuax, wearing number 34. Here he goes. And Cooper Rice in there as well, wearing number 31. And you can see he was on that novice ET last year as this shot puck is shot the length of the ice. And it goes far enough for icing. 8.16 to go here in period two. one nothing our score. Face off corral by the Mohawks. Shot towards the net, it's gonna get out. But has to correct. And that pass is intercepted. Here goes Mercier. Coming in, and it's poked away and nearly knocked it on the net. Rolling towards the goal. And it's going to be shot the length of the ice. And it does reach the uh, right, the goal line. So we have an icing called with uh, 7.41 to go here in the second. So the faceoff is coming up to the right of the Gahnawagi net. Taking the draw for the Mohawks is number seven. We don't have number seven on our sheet. Might be wiping. I'm gonna have to get a name for you during the uh, second intermission. 7.30 to go, Mercy up one nothing. And the Mercy player takes a tumble. 
That was uh, Nathan Chamberlain who has already scored for Mercy. He has the only goal up to this point in this game. It's 1-0 with 7.15 to go here in period two. Shot out. Well, has to correct back there for the Mohawks. And she gets it out. No offside. The shot towards Goodleaf down on the target. Behind the goal. Sit out in front. Now Mercy with possession of Chamberlain. Cleared back towards the point. Gathered up. Here's a shot. Goodleaf can't get it. It's in the net. It trickles by him. And then Chamberlain's second. The mag call up has both goals. It's 2 0 Mercier. A little comes with 6.38 to go here in period two. Face off coming up at center as the Braves have a 2 0 lead. The other players, 48, Reese Dixon. As uh, the Mohawks look to clear it. Shot towards the net. It's blocked, and the Mohawks have it. Here goes Gahnawage. Dixon centering feed, blocked. Scooped up around and twirled around by Jacob Paul 44 Paul gets it to the point and it goes out and now broken up and here's a chance for Dixon coming in Dixon shoots oh what a save by Prefontaine good shot there by Dixon better stop by Prefontaine one of Gunawage certainly Gunawage's best chance today I would say Oh, there's a collision at center between a Brave and a Mohawk. I think they were actually tangled up. I think the stick of Sean Berlin was tied up in the skate of Zachary. How is that for haha -ha moments? And back come the Mohawks. It's Dixon. Dixon coming in. He's Dixon. Not going to be the first one on it. That'll be Justin Pertanud. Now picked up by Dixon on the backhand. Kept alive at center by the Mohawks. Thompson overskated the puck. Now Dixon's the lone player back for Gahnawage. Dixon circles in his own zone. Trying to throw it out in front. Or right, everyone not able to get a handle on it. And Corey Goodleaf says no. Good stop by Goodleaf as the puck is stuck behind the net. Now Mercy looks to break out. Oh, sorry, Gamalagi looks to break out. Dixon gets it out to neutral ice. Dixon keeps it alive. Here he goes. Dixon skating in. Dixon on a breakaway. Dixon shoots. Whoa, he hit the post! Oh! That's his second glorious opportunity. One time he was stopped, this time he hit the post. Now a turnover. And it's knocked back into neutral ice, played off the boards. And kept alive by Dixon. Here he goes by one. Coming in. Dixon. What a move. Oh, another save. I bet you the price of a goal is about a million right now. That's what it feels like for Dixon as the puck is shot. The length of the ice. Icing is called. Wow. Three glorious opportunities for Dixon. And all of them have 
been denied twice by the goaltender Prifontaine, but once by that cold iron. And it remains 2 nothing Graves. 3-11. There you go. Face off coming up to the right. And the puck gets out of the zone. And there's the steal. Here comes Mercier. Score! Monty cut. And it's 3-0. Advantage Mercier with 2.59 to go here in the second. The Mawks are getting every single chance that you want. But uh, unfortunately, they've hit a goal post and they've been stopped a couple of times. And coming up in just a few short weeks, it's Friendship Week here. So each team at every each level is allowed to invite one team to come play an exhibition. It'll be December 27th. Here's a chance for the Braves. Corey Goodley says no way. Chamberlain going for the hat trick there. Actually, the mag call-ups have scored all three goals for Mercier today. Thrown out in front. Knocked aside by number 52, Joey Jacobs Deer. Puck is now knocked behind the goal. Picked up and knocked in front of the goal. Now scooped up by the Mohawks. Chipped off the wing. And now it is controlled by Marticot. Marticot has one and Chamberlain has two. Those are two of Mercier's three mag players. Now broken up by Thompson. And knocked ahead. Played off the wall. There's a collision. Thompson on his forehand. Thompson had the puck knocked away. Carut uh, comes in. And a good stick lift by Thompson. The puck knocked back towards the point. And back come the Braves. Here they go. Two of them are away. Chamberlain is away with the puck right now. He makes the move on Thompson. Chamberlain cuts in. Chamberlain a shot and a save by Goodley. Well, Corey Goodleaf has looked really good in goal for the Mohawks today. Both goalies have looked really good today. They made saves when they've had to, that's for sure. Mercy holding a 3-0 lead. And back they come. Oh, and we got a delayed offside blown down as Chamberlain took a spill right at the blue line. And that'll halt play with 49.4 seconds remaining here in period number two. And don't forget our next game coming up. Novice A's, a heavyweight tilt, the St. Martin Patriots, or Bohornwa Patriots, against the Gahnawagi Mohawks. A heavyweight novice A affair coming up right after this. Here we go. Face off controlled by the Braves. Banged off the boards. And it'll be cleared back out into Mercier territory all the way down, in fact, for an icing. 38.8 seconds left. Brandon Bordeaux, Brittany Twan with you at the Agrahmalaga Sports Complex. Brittany by the water, sorry. Brittany by the water. My daughter's, my, my seven-year-old daughter's debut on the uh, camera. Face off coming up to the right of the Mohawks then. Control is earned by Mercier. And a very good stick lift by Cooper Rice wearing number 31. Now control is earned by the Mohawks. It's Paul. Paul off the wall. And the puck will get out. It got past 
the Mercy defenseman icing Lee Goff as he hit a stick. 15 seconds to go. The wake by that sends it up ice. And the control is not earned by the Mohawks. Scooped up by Mercy. Two seconds left. And that's going to do it for the second period of play. We're coming back with period three. Our score, Mercy, a three, Gondolaga, zero. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Here we go, period three. Mercy, a three, Gondolaga, no score. It's Reese Dixon, who's been the most dangerous Gondolaga owner today. He's uh, hit a post, and he's been denied, been, been denied twice in tight. And right, here come the Braves. A shot from an off angle. Not a threat to good leaf. And here goes Dixon back the other way. Dixon trying to break out. Good back up there by the Braves. And the Mohawks still can't clear it. Dixon trying to get the puck on his forehand. He does. Dixon bangs it off the boards. It's going to go far enough down the opposite way for icing. Or at least I think it will. Yeah, they'll call it. 14 minutes and counting remaining in period three. Three to nothing, our scoreline, Mercier leading Gondolaga. All three goals by Mercier scored by mag call-ups today. Not a, uh, so I guess you could say it's 0-0 zero, zero in terms of uh, the novice C score lines. Face-off coming up to the right of the Mohawks goal. I'm Brandon Bordeaux alongside Brittany by the water. This matchup uh, between the, the Mohawks and the Mercier. Novice see a fair 3 0 scoreline. Here goes Dixon. Coming out. Dixon trying to break out. He had his stick lifted. But good back up there by the Mohawks. Knocking the puck back to center ice. That's Cooper Rice, the veteran. Uh, who am I to call a kid a veteran at, what, seven, eight years old? But you know what I mean? Not his first year. Now here goes. Dixon skating in over the blue line. Dixon had his stick not lifted and a good back check by Ludovic Talbot, number 28. <laughs> he will get along the two acts. Had his stick lifted and there's Dutte, Jonah Dutte Thompson trying to get back into play. Cannot. Here's a shot wide of the target. A rebound picked up off the hop by Mercier. Coming back defensively is Thompson. And they rugby scrum. Back behind the Mohawks goal. Mercy is on it now. And here go the Mohawks. Two acts, breaks out. Is the play on side still? I guess so. Here come the Mohawks. Here's a chance for the goal. No, oh, another save. That's on 10. Another stop on Dixon. How many close and tight is that? Four? Excellent goal keeping on both ends. Corey Goodleaf certainly holding up his end of the bargain scale today in that goal. Uh, Goodleaf banks it off the boards. So it was Dixon that banged it off the boards. A centering feed, block, two acts, picks it up, goes to his forehand, plays it out in front. Dixon, trying to break out. And the centering feed intercepted by Paul. Paul knocks it outside the Mercier zone. Paul scoops it up. Paul coming back. Take the Paul. He has an inside track to the puck here. It's Paul coming in. Save. And no rebound. I'll tell you what, the Mohawks have not quit. They don't quit, and it's it's been one of their best performances, I'd say, of the young season. They have not given up. It's 3-0, but they, this could easily be a tie game, the way the Mohawks are playing. So they got to keep believing. As soon as they get one, that's all it's going to take. They just need that one goal. If they get one, you never know what's going to happen. Well, Hudson Charles, the shot! Oh, it's out wide of the target. Mercy looks to break out. 
And the puck gets out to neutral ice. And here go the Braves. It's Marcy Cut getting through. Marcy Cut coming in. Scores. Hey, <laughs> Collips getting the goals. And that'll make it 4 0. I think it's safe to say these bag players will be uh, tried, tested, and ready for novice when novice uh, season rolls for them next year. Face off corralled by the Braves. 9.40 to go here in the third. And shot back into Mohawk territory. That's uh, William Belek, who played actually for the same team last year. We would know because we've seen Mercier take on our novice Mohawks last year about three times. Shot back behind the goal. And played off the wall. Marty cut. Mercier. Shoot it on the goal. It's blocked by Corey Goodleaf. I think the, the Mohawks are trying to get Goodleaf to freeze it. Charles clears it to the point, or sorry, Corrutt clears it to the point. Well, that's who Charles wearing number 30, the pink helmet. Girl power. As they say that, my seven-year-old girl here, my daughter, is filming the game. Behind the net. They try to stuff it out in front. And a save by Corey Goodleaf and a centering feed goes through the blue paint. Harmlessly, but it didn't look that harmless. Ted Butt comes out in front. And Perrot gives pursuit of the puck. Marty Cott coming in. Marty Cott around two players. Marty Cott. Oh, Corey Goodleaf. The save. 7.45 remaining in period three, four nothing our scoreline. Mercy leading the uh, Gahamagi Mohawks. Face off coming up to the left of Goodleaf. It's one back to the point. Oh, Mercier player at the point was tying his uh, gloves. And it gets out. And Mercier bringing it back in offside. So we'll have a pause in the action. Seven minutes remaining here in the third. Face off coming up outside the Gahnawagi blue line. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're all lining up at the wrong spot. It's going to be over here. Here we go. Shot back to the... Uh, and the puck is shot back into Gahnawagi territory. They look to throw it out in front. It's intercepted. A centering feed. Blocked and it goes back towards the point. Kept alive. And the centering feed is intercepted. Mohawks trying to clear it, and they get it out. Gibby chases Dixon, and Dixon takes a tumble trying to knock the puck free. 4-0 Mercy on top of the Mohawks, and the puck gets out. And the Mohawks have a player trapped offside. Play halted with 5.40 remaining.
Four nothing, Gahmawage trailing Mercy in novice C action. Back of the brace. It's a breakaway and it's Marchicot for the hat trick. It hits the post. Played around the horn. Behind the blue line, behind the goal line. Walking out in front is number 34. That is uh, Chamberlain who has two goals for Mercier. And the Braves bring it back in offside with 4.30 remaining here in the third. Four minutes, ten seconds remaining here in the third period of play. Four nothing Mercy leading Donawage. Our next game is coming up right after this. The St. Martin slash Bohornwa Patriots and Donawage Mohawks in a novice A affair. Sanadate Thompson had his stick lifted. Jacob Paul. Here's it back towards the blue line. Paul. Wahesu Karat. And Joey Jacobs Deer. Karat knocks it back towards the point area. And the centering feed. Deflected. Corey Goodley with the save. Karat fans on the clearing attempt to use the shopping score. And that's three goals for Chamberlain. That makes it 5 0 Mercy with three minutes and change remaining here in the third. Five goals for the Braves, all five scored by the bank call ups in this one. Now, here come the Mohawks. It's Joey Jacobs Deer circling back his own goal. The centering feed is blocked, cleared back into the Mohawks' end of the ice. Here's a shot blocked, another try! Corey Goodleaf the save! Ring 10,000 on that one. Picked back up by Mercier and intercepted back towards the blue line. And it's going to be picked up and gathered. Here goes Jacob Paul. And Paul has the centering feet knocked away. Good skate, good rush there by Paul. And the center feed is intercepted by Paul. Paul. And now here come the Braves. Broken up by Karat. And Paul had it knocked off his stick. Puck comes straight towards the boards. And the center feed is actually deflected. Sent around the horn by Perrette. Now giving chase to the puck. Is Paul not free? Overskated. And Paul backed it up by clearing it back into Mercy's end of the rink. Centering feed is blocked. A second try and the puck will get out. Joey Jacobs here knocked it back into Mercy's zone. Onside they say so the wall is permitted to Chase after the puck. We're down to the final 50 seconds of this one. Cooper Rice keeps the play alive. Good play. Paul knocked it the opposite direction and Paul touches the puck. Offside is called with 35 seconds and change remaining here in period number three. Got to say, uh, a very big thank you to my daughter. We've got a heavyweight tilt coming up after this. It's the Bohornwa Patriots. Gunawagi Mohawks. It's Novice A. That's coming up right after this. We're down to the final seven seconds. And uh, you know what? They actually just do the play dead anyway. That's it. 
There's two seconds remaining on the scoreboard. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That does it. Your final score. Mercier 5, Gahnawage no score. And coming up next, Novice A. Uh, Bohornwa taking on Gahnawage. For Brittany by the Water, this is Brandon Bordeaux saying Onagiwahi from the Gahnawagi Sports Complex. <laughs>